Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to offer up five ways to know that you need to get back in therapy. I heard from many of you that you didn't know when you needed to go back. And if you took a break, you wondered if it was a bad thing to actually reach back out. And how many times can someone go to therapy? There were so many questions. And know that yes, you can go back at any time. It's better to go back sooner rather than later. And there are gonna be different times in each of our lives where we feel the need to go to see someone so we can just talk it out, have an unbiased opinion, somewhere where we can process through all that we're feeling. So know that there's no limits to the number of times you can go to therapy. I've been in and out of therapy since I was probably 15 years old. I'm 34 now, so that's quite a while of me popping in and out. So know that there's no limits to it. But the first sign that we need to get back in therapy is that we are really tearful or cry for no reason. I know personally that this is one of my signs. I'll be watching a commercial, for God's sake, and it will be somewhat emotionally tugging on my heartstrings and I will cry without any warning, I could be reading something in a magazine and feel tearful, I could be watching something on Instagram and wanna cry. I don't have any like way to stop the tears, which means that I'm emotionally full. And that's when I need to go see someone, I need to call my therapist, I need to talk to her because I'm so full of everything I haven't processed through that it's coming out my eyes. That's how I personally know that I need to be in therapy. And I find that it rings true for many of my clients as well. And the second way to know that we need to get back in therapy is that we find ourselves just thinking negatively a lot about ourselves, about others, and we aren't able to talk back to it. We find ourselves even just shutting down with the sheer amount of negativity going on. And the reason for this is because we haven't had anybody to talk to about it and we're not practicing our tools and using them. There are points in time after being out of therapy for a while that it can be hard to use our tools again and to get back in the habit of arguing back and taking that time at the end of the day or at the beginning of the day or maybe all times during the day to fight the negativity. We can forget to do that and find ourselves falling back into those old negative thought cycles. And that rolls right into number three, which is if we find ourselves slipping back into old unhealthy habits. That could be those negative thoughts that we can't fight back against. This could be eating disorder behavior. I have a lot of clients who will call me because they find themselves having those eating disorder thoughts with more frequency or doing small things that may not seem like a big deal, but they're just, it's the eating disorder being so sneaky and getting back in little by little. This could be self-injury urges or urges to drink or use drugs if you were an addict and you're in recovery. Whatever it is, if we find those unhealthy habits creeping back in, please reach out for help, call your therapist, and get back in as soon as possible. And the fourth way to know that we need to get back in therapy is if we feel like our emotions are running us and are in control of us versus us being in control of them. And this usually presents itself with angry outbursts. I've had a lot of clients come back in to see me when they said that they just yelled at their waiter at the restaurant and they're normally not like that. Or they've had a lot of road rage struggles lately and that's just not how they are in traffic usually. They just relax into it and submit to the process. Any of those things, if you find yourself becoming easily upset and not being able to control your anger, that could be another sign that we just need somewhere to go and talk about it. If you can kind of see all of these different reasons have the underlying element of the need to talk to somebody about it and process through it. And that's why if we have a good support system in place already, it can extend the time in between needing therapy because we have other people in our lives that we can talk things through. But as we all know, friends and family cannot completely take away the need for a therapist. Seeing a therapist is totally different because it's an unbiased perspective and they're trained to offer up tools and techniques to stop it from happening again. But having supportive people in our life can be extremely helpful and help us process through some of that stuff before we feel ourselves becoming angry for no real reason. And the fifth and final way to know that we need to get back in therapy is if we have any thoughts of death or killing ourselves. Even if those thoughts come and go, that is a sign that we're having a hard time if we're feeling so hopeless that we consider death as an option, we need to talk to someone about it and sooner rather than later because even though we can feel like we're in a dark hole and there's no way out, talking to someone about it and just having that little teeny glimmer of hope can keep us going and prevent us from doing something that maybe we don't really wanna do. And I wanna end this video by letting you know that we all can benefit from therapy all the time. 
You don't have to have all five of these reasons. In fact, you don't even have to have one. All you have to have is just a desire to feel better or to talk to someone, to get some stuff off your chest. I know that therapy has been super helpful for me just to talk things out that maybe I'm afraid to say out loud to those people in my life that care about me because I'm afraid of what they think when I say that. And that just gives us a safe space to do those things. Don't think you have to be at the end of your rope. Don't think that you have to feel like total shit. Reaching out sooner rather than later is always a good idea. And finding a therapist that you can call to get back in when you need to is great. So taking the time before we're in an emergent need for therapy can give us that that like space and time to find the right therapist because it can take, you know, seeing three, four, sometimes five therapists before we find the right fit. So know that even though I mentioned these five signs, you don't have to have any of them to seek therapy. I would encourage all of you to consider, I would encourage all of you to look into it and know that it can be extremely beneficial. This video has been brought to you by the Kenyans on Patreon. If you would like to support the creation of these mental health videos, click the link in the description and check it out. Let us know in the comments, what signs and symptoms do you look for in yourself? How do you know you need to get back in therapy? The more we share and the more we talk about it, it could boom, spark an idea in someone else's mind where they realize, hey, I should probably get in therapy too. You never know because we're working together towards a healthy mind and a healthy body. And I will see you next time. Bye.